Ka hoka te manu taiko ki uta. Ka hoko te manu taiko ki tai. Hoki mai rā ki hauturu ki aotea. He kōhanga ki tihi o hiraki mata. He hua manu ki taiko e taiko e. Soar above the land, O taiko, soar out to sea. You shall return to Hauturu and Aotea, to nest again upon our sacred maunga, Hiraki Mata, to give birth to the world once again, O Taiko. Tēnā rawa koutou, e mihi ana nga maunga nga awa nga wahi tapu o tēnei rohe tēnā koutou. Tēnā koe te mana whenua o Ngāti Whiatua mō tō karekia mō tō mihi mihi ki a koutou ki tēnei hui. Tēnā rā koutou, nā haue whā. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou. Kia ora mai tātou katoa. Could we play the clip, please? Hare mai, hare mai, hare mai. Hare mai, nā manu hiri tūru, e rongi te kaupapa, te aroha mō nā manu. Today we saw the return of Taiko come back to Hiraki Mata from Peru. They flew over 10,000 nautical miles to be here with us and it's our privilege to welcome them and the many supporters, collaborators and whanau of Taiko to our sacred mountain Hiraki Mata. So above the land, O Taiko. So out to sea, O Taiko. You shall return to Hotudu and Aotea to nest again at Hiraki Mata, Mount Hobson, and give birth to the world once again, O Taiko. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou koutou. Well, we are absolutely invested in uh, working with our stakeholders and other supporters to grow our taiko. We're very concerned the taiko is very vulnerable and we know that to turn back the tide and see taiko thriving and filling the skies and seas, we have to work together and to make that vision a reality. One thing that you, you learn as mana whenua uh, is relationships has to be the pathway. Relationships create a pathway to truly be a kaitiaki. The other pathway on that is about building relationships on how can we uh, have one vision moving forward. It's not worth uh, creating a dozen different ones when you're all thinking of going the same way. We've established a collaborative group with all of the agencies and interest groups who are keen to see Taiko or black petrels thrive. So this is one of our black petrels here. He's uh, a male waiting for his partner to come back so they can lay their egg and raise their chick this season. So there are 2,500 breeding pairs left. So this makes every single one of these birds really important. So the main threats of these birds now are land-based predators. Unfortunately, there's still rats, cats and, and feral pigs on Great Barrier, um, but also the at-sea threats. So commercial and recreational fishing. You know, when the taiko come home, they're very hungry. They're here to raise chicks. Uh, and of course, so they're trying to hunt for fish and squid as well. And so they interact with the fishing boats. It's my privilege to um, be here um, on behalf of our many stakeholders who you've seen um, in that short clip to talk to you about um, the efforts that um, our community, um, Ngāti Rehua, um, are conducting to uh, save and protect um, the taiko. In Ngāti Rehua, the name taiko is not really a name that we use. Um, our name for taiko is uh, takokietai. And it's a name that's um, specific and unique to Aotea because uh, Takokirtai speaks of the bird flying over the tai, the water. Uh, it speaks of how it goes uh, when you hear the tai core calling, it has a core, core. And so our old people um, didn't use that name tai core. Tai core is a name that's used by many southern iwi. 
Uh, but if you're a local, if you're um, from Aotea and you hear the word uh, takoketai, then um, we know you're one of us. So I want you to, that's my uh, taonga for all of you. You can be one of us. You can help us look after takoketai, help us look after the taiko. Um, in our histories, um, our, I wanted to speak to you about what do we need to affect change in kaitiakitanga. Aotea, as you know, is the fourth largest island in Aotearoa. Um, one of the biggest things that we have is we have an Aotea Conservation Park, which is owned by the Crown, by DOC, um, and it's, it's a significant park. Um, and in smack in the middle is Hiraki Mata, our sacred mountain, or Mount, some of you may know it as Mount Hobson. And what we need in, on our island is um, to affect those changes to ensure action. Um, Aotea, for some silly reason, um, DOC um, doesn't fund us enough. <laughs> and so, um, and I heard a wonderful quote, I'm not going to say who said it to me, but I absolutely agree with her. It's absolutely criminal. Because uh, we've got a, the largest DOC estate. Uh, but we're not doing enough to save these, uh, save these uh, precious taonga, these precious manu. We're not doing enough to actually get uh, rat traps, cat traps, get resources out to our community groups. Because it's our whānau on the island, it's our communities that do all this wonderful work for us. And in order for us to affect the kind of change to ensure that our taiko are protected, we need resources on Aotea, on Great Barrier Island. And so my challenge, first of all, is to dock. Uh, you dig deep in those pots of um, gold that you have and start sending them our way. And we'll gladly take them off your hand and we'll gladly uh, spend that money wisely in doing the good work that all you people believe in and that's saving these seabirds because that's what we need to do. I want to acknowledge um, our many communities. Uh, we've got a fantastic community on Great Barrier Island. Um, I acknowledge our Great Barrier local board, Izzy, her board members that are here today. Um, they're absolutely um, committed to working in partnership with Ngāti Rehua and with our communities. We've got our chairperson of the uh, Aotea Conservation Park, um, Paul, who's here with us. Um, many other Great Barrier Island Environmental Trust, Kate, who's here with us. Um, and that actually shows the commitment that a small community like, like ours makes to come across here to the mainland. They don't actually want to leave the paradise that we live in. They don't want to come to, uh, come to um, the mainland to, um, and be here any longer than they have to. And I'm absolutely proud um, to actually call um, these community stakeholders the friends of Ngāti Rehua, Ngāti Waiki Aotea. I wanted to talk to you around what do we need to ensure the survival of Taiko. Like many issues, it requires multiple interventions, it requires partnerships. And what you've seen on the film clip and what you've seen in some of the photos here is these are some of our partnerships with mana whenua, with the right community groups, working together for the policy at heart. And the policy at heart is that we want our future generations, our future mokopuna, to grow up hearing, seeing a thriving uh, ecological environment. And to do that, it's going to take all of us. To do that, it's actually going to take some really strong policies, it's going to take some strong advocacy to ensure that good people like yourselves, researchers and scientists, as well as community, nothing's going to work if we don't bring on everyday mums, dads and their families. Everyday mum and dad, you can make the difference, as much as the scientists that's working on their thesis, their doctoral studies. You can make the difference. The difference is what do we teach our children? How do we look after the environment? How do we look after these precious taonga? So we know that those collaborations is the secret to our success. Together we can turn back the tide and give our precious taonga the rights that they deserve. The taiko on Aotea and on Hauturu is a precious taonga to Ngāti Rehua, to Ngāti Manuhiri, and to Ngāti Wai. I've sat here today and I've listened to all the speakers talk about our rohe. They've gone right up to the poor knights. 
They've come down to the Mukahinas into uh, the Pukahino. They've gone across to Hauturua Toi. They've gone to Timutu Aotea. And that is because our combined people, we are a coastal seagoing people. We have occupied our lands, territories and seas for the last 800 years. We descend from the mighty waka. We descend from the navigators. And we are still there today. We're still there looking after those fires, looking after our communities, and looking after our precious taonga, the taiko, and the mini manu. And in final closing, he kaitiaki koe, you are a guardian. He kaitiaki o, I am a guardian. Me piki tawa ki te tihi, Oh, na pahu turu e Ki na pohi tu te kupenga O to te hua tahi E tamatangi kine Tina Rawakoto, Kyoda.